All right, we are back and better than ever. I know if you're looking at this, you might think maybe something's going on. If you'll remember, I said if you raise 25,000 for our PTO, I would wear a superhero costume all day long. And I am not one to uh, back down from a promise. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over some things and try not to giggle or laugh, but it's all good. I'll approach this just like everything else with a grain of salt and a little bit of sugar. It's all fine. Uh, let's go through some things coming up. First of all, tonight we have our homecoming parade and our homecoming uh, high school football game. Parade starts at six. Uh, I will be there. I will not be dressed like this. Uh, I don't know if Dr. Outlaw would really approve of that. I mean, I am pretty fast. Uh, full disclosure, the suit does not make me any faster. So if you're thinking about getting the suit to make you faster, it actually doesn't. Also, um, so that's tonight, finishing up our spirit week. Uh, also we have coming up on the 11th is our PTO meeting. Um, note that it's on a Tuesday instead of a Thursday from seven to nine um, here at the school. Uh, and then also we have our Hilton uh, Harvest Fest coming up, which is awesome. It's on October 21st. Uh, if your students want to wear their costumes, have them wear their costumes. I will not be in costume on that day. Uh, I will probably be bundled up. It might be a little chilly. Uh, speaking of chilly, uh, please, please, please make sure your students have coats, uh, um, you know, uh, pants, whatever they need uh, as our weather starts to change. So we'd like to still get the students outside. If it's that awkward time. It could be 75. It could be 25. We got to love Michigan. So that's why we live here is because of all the seasons in one day. But please make sure they're addressed appropriately. Um, really, that's all I have for you. PTO, an amazing event again, um, to have the Hilton Hero Hound Dog Run. It was amazing. Raising all the money was amazing. Thank you families for everything you've done. With donating, it does help fund uh, a lot of the cool things that are happening in the school for your students. So thank you so much. Have a great day and oh, sorry. I'm also going to show, uh, introduce one of our new staff members who we didn't get to last week. So we'll go to her, then we'll go to your students do amazing things and some running and some other videos and photos and all that. So I will be back in a flash. Here we go. So I am here with Miss Otmar. She is one of our new special ed uh, teachers here. So can I ask you, like, how long have you been in education and what brought you to want to come to break? Okay, so I have been in education as a special education teacher for 17 years. Um, I was previously in Ohio and now I'm here in Michigan. Um, and I live in the community and I just wanted to be part of um, a district that's you know, moving forward and figuring out unique ways to meet students' needs. And I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, speaking of unique ways, Hello. I'm more impressed that she didn't break and maybe crack a smile or a giggle when she saw this. Very professional. Love it. Love it. Uh, so thank you very much and we're so excited to have you here. Thank you. I'm excited to be here.